I've spent time with General Petraeus, as I said earlier, in Mosul and in Iraq when he was reorganizing the Iraqi army. I believe, as he does, that these young men and women who are serving now are an extension of what I call the greatest generation. Indeed, for some of our troopers, the return home is just the beginning of the battle. Though not the norm, still too often, members of our armed forces return home only to enter a downward spiral of health issues and unemployment. This is a moment of great personal privilege for me to be with this organization and to be with all of you. You've reminded all Americans of the pressing work that has to be done to meet our obligations as a nation to those who need help, including America's homeless veterans. Your appearance here tonight and your support for this great organization is one more definition of citizenship. You've worked to help halt the downward spiral that takes some veterans to the despair that is homelessness. And you've helped veterans rebuild their lives when those lives have fallen apart. But I should also remind you that we'll, we are here in this splendid setting at this hour in Afghanistan and in Iraq. Young American citizens, men and women, are putting on Kevlar vests, their helmets locking and loading weapons, getting into Humvees and going off to face an enemy who doesn't hesitate to take sanctuary in sacred places or in civilian homes. They're fighting this war on our behalf. These troopers endure long separations from their loved ones, operate in cultures vastly different than their own, persevere in tough physical conditions, and confront ruthless, indeed barbaric, enemies. We cannot be a society, one in uniform and one in civilian clothing, and no connective bonds. Your appearance here tonight means that you understand that. Help USA recognize that our heroes in uniform deserve better. And thus you were already working to help when President Obama observed last year that we all share the shame of 154,000 veterans going homeless on any given night. You have had a powerful impact in hundreds of thousands of lives. And in so doing, you've helped express in very tangible ways the thanks of a very grateful nation to those who have served that nation in carrying out tough missions far from home. HelpWorks today is important more today than ever. With returning troops needing safe, supportive homes, Help USA provides. We want to thank all of you caring about us, and especially General Petraeus, for understanding and working for a more dignified quality of life for all of us veterans. Thank you. Happy anniversary, Help USA. Continue to do your very great work. Hey, Help USA, happy 25th anniversary, and thanks for all you do for those when they need it most. Hi, my name is Constance Chase, and I'm the director of the West Point Glee Club. We are so honored to be here tonight to be a small part of this 25th anniversary. Congratulations, Help USA. Hua, as we say in the Army. Thanks again. Happy 25th anniversary to Help USA. God bless you all. God bless all those in uniform and their families. And thanks very much to each and every one of you. Thank you.